Welcome to yet another episode of Regular Beer Reviews, where regular doesn't refer to the beers being reviewed, but to the reviewer, myself, I'm Jesse, and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer that I have had once before. I had it earlier in the spring. I don't really remember anything about it. Uh, actually, my brother-in-law just gave me this one today, so I figured I'd do it. It is New Belgium's Spring Blonde, and I love how they have um, they have a uh, kind of a bicycle theme with a lot of their beers, like like fat tire um like i said I, I remember having this beer um but i i don't really remember anything about it i just know that i've i have tried it um so let's look at the numbers on this new belgium uh spring blonde um and that's new belgium brewing out of fort collins colorado Beer Advocate gives this a 79, which is okay, and that's with 378 ratings. The Bros give it an 80, which is good, uh, but rate beer a little lower numbers. They give it a 44 overall with a 43 for the style. Um, the style is, uh, a well, on, I'm not sure, it just says blonde on here. It says Belgian style ale, and um, that's what it said on rate beer was um, a Belgian ale, but on Beer Advocate it said Belgian pale ale. Um, I don't really, like I said, I don't remember anything about it, but I certainly don't think it's a pale ale, but um, I don't know. Uh, anyway, it has 6% um, ABV. Uh, I'm not sure what the IBUs are on it, though, and the availability is um, rotating but uh, it's obviously being spring blonde. It's a it's a spring seasonal. Um, I'm gonna read a quick description from what it says on the the bottle here. It says, "Inspired by our anniversary bike trips through Belgium, Spring Blonde is a bright golden ale with a sweet lemony start, pedaling to a pleasantly bitter finish." So, from that description, it's gonna be really light. It might be like a might be a little little more like a pale ale. I doubt an American pale ale, but um, I don't know. It's Let's just get into this. Let's get it cracked open here. Mm. Tiny bit of smoke, not really a whole lot. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful color. Nice, uh, light, pale straw color. Um, kind of some effervescence. Uh, to it. It's really, really bright. Um, almost fluorescent like. Very bright. Tons of carbonation streaming up. Tons of bubbles. Um, nice, big, fluffy white, snow white um, three finger head on there. Um, it's very, very clear. I'm sure this is um, filtered quite a bit. Um, the head head looks pretty creamy it, it looks nice so let's go ahead and get a nose on this yeah um it, it's the malts up front are very very light bready maybe kind of biscuity um the um i may be picking up on on a little bit of hop um slightly bitter kind of floral I'm picking up on a little bit of that um, kind of a, a, a lemony thing. Um, it's it's really sweet, citrusy. This is, it smells like a very simple beer, but there's a lot going on here. It definitely smells refreshing. So let's go on ahead and jump into this one. Oh wow, that is really really light. Very light mouthfeel, not watery by any means, but very light carbonated. Um, nice, nice creamy head on that too. It's it's very creamy, silky mouthfeel. Um, and I have to say, right up front, I get those kind of light. It, it uh, it's lemony, um, really kind of uh, like a citrusy. I don't know if this is brewed with lemon zest or not. I don't think it. It says it describes it. It says lemony start, but it doesn't really describe if it is in fact brewed with lemon zest or anything like that. But it's it's um does have a really citrusy um kind of zing to it. Um, maybe the slightest bit of like a, a spice spices in there, like maybe coriander, kind of a white pepper 
thing going on. You know, stuff's very traditional with these light Belgian ales. Um, the the malts are very light. Um, a little, a little more kind of um, grainy, a little more bready um, than it than it tastes. It doesn't taste quite as. It, it smells a little more like yeasty. It doesn't taste quite as. Um, doesn't doesn't taste quite as as uh, yeasty and, and and bready as it, it smells. Um, it's it's a little bready, very very light light pale malt there, and then in the back you get a nice floral, maybe slightly piney hop. Overall, it's a very very simple beer, but it's it's refreshing and there's there's some good flavor there. So. I like this beer. I mean, it's nothing that I'd. I mean, obviously, I said I had it once. I didn't even remember. Um, but it's it's pretty good. Um, some people might describe this as a, like a lawnmower beer, but I'd I'd say it's I'd, I'd say it's it's better than that. It's nice, refreshing. It'd be great on a day like today, a hot summer day. Um, this isn't a bad beer by any means. This is pretty good. So. I would say if you see New Belgium Spring Blonde, go out and pick some up. Um, it's it's definitely not bad if you like lighter beers. I mean, this would pair really good with a lot of stuff. You could have this with seafood. You could have it with a burger, you know, barbecue. Um, and uh, it's certainly a good alternative to um, a lot of those really um, crappy adjunct lagers. So uh, I, I like this. I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, a 7 out of 10. That's average, but average is pretty good. A lot of those adjunct loggers, you know, I'd give like 4s and 5s. So 7 is pretty good. That's a C for me. That's certainly passing. I think, that this is a, uh, I think that this is a pretty good beer, and I definitely like it. So, um, again, if, if you see Spring Blonde, pick it up. Try it out for yourself. I think it's I think it's pretty tasty. So, seven out of ten for New Belgium Spring Blonde. Thanks for watching, and keep watching again in the future for more reviews. Post.